Everybody knows Mike. Hello, Walter. Walter Pigeon. How are you, sir? Pleasure. Nice to be aboard. Walter oh. what? I didn't catch your name. Ferguson. <laughs> oh, oh. Ferguson. That's right. <laughs> you seem very familiar. <laughs> I've run into you someplace. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> How many pictures did you two make together? We were trying to think. Seems I've worked all my life with, with Mervyn Leroy directing and... And we Walter did, uh, acting we did seven, I don't know. I think. Seven, seven, seven and a half. I don't know what happened the other half. I guess it never got out of the film is that, lab. Is that a nice experience for two people? Yes. It was for me. It's lovely. When it Thank clicks, you, darling. That you keep oh, making, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. We just loved it. I knew exactly how he was going to do everything. He knew exactly how I was going to do everything. Even if we tried to surprise each other. And we got on extremely well. The fans were very disappointed that we weren't married. But he has a perfectly charming wife and I have a very lovely husband. But I was known as the daytime Mrs. Pigeon, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it fans, we used to read things occasionally about you two because you were in pictures together so often. I read those things. Did yes, you read yes, all those I things? Those Alas, they weren't true. Yeah, if you, it's what I think you, you mean. You never fell in love with the leading man, is that what you're saying? Well, I did, but it all ended at six o'clock. You know. <laughs> I see. They began was... every day the next day at nine. They were short romance. Yes, yeah, short not, romance. Not with Walter. You want to and time out for this, lunch. This fellow here, he put me on the stage. Fred Astaire put Fred, you on the stage? I, I really wondered if you remembered this. Remember, uh, do I when, remember? When and where? Well, 1923 or 4. In Boston. Yeah. In Bo is this thing on? Yes, just okay. hold it close to you. You've got it. Uh, it was in Boston, and uh, you just came the service, was it? Uh, no, I was there. Uh, I was uh, in the bond business. In the bond business, that's right. I can't right. think who it was at a party. And uh, I was sitting at the piano playing and singing, and, and Fred and Adele came in. Around midnight. Excuse me, sir. Hold on. You were sitting at the piano playing and singing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you were doing for a living at no, the time? No, I was selling bonds. And this selling bonds? Yeah, they, oh, I see. Anyway, the, the, the host brought my Fred over and introduced me. And Fred said, uh, what show are you with? And I said, I'm not with any show. He said, oh, you're in vaudeville? I said, no. Oh. And then the host said, no, he's uh, careful. He'll pull out a list. He sells bonds. And... Then Fred later on came over and said, why in the hell don't you get on the stage? I was kidding. They said, why don't you put me on the stage? And the next thing I knew, in about a month, I had a call from Charlie Dillingham in New York. And he had well, it came, it came partly through Elsie Janis' uh, show. She, she, yeah. she had a show first, and I yeah. think you went on that. And then I remember we, we had a kind of an audition. And it really makes me laugh every time. And in a, in a piano company that was on Boylston Street in, in Boston, I yeah, think that was yeah. it. And we went in there, and, and you played in there, and I listened to you sing. Yeah. Oh, I do. You yeah, know, it's good. No, I love the thought of it. It's such a resonant voice. I'm trying to get him to hold that closer but, but so we can Greg, hear that did beautiful, beautiful resonant voice. Oh. Oh. I did what? Oh, it's a <laughs> rose. <road. laughs> <laughs> Somebody gave me this as I came now in. Now it's a microphone. And they, said, <laughs> oh, they said the yellow rose of Texas. Anyway, you did a musical here at MGM, yes. I did? Yes. Well, I did a musical number. And you were very good. You but when I nice. see it on TV, they cut that out and sell more deodorants and dog food. That is very disappointing. They, oh, you're kidding. You're well, they, they do that. Junior models. misbehaved, wasn't it? Oh, that was great fun. We were acrobats. We what were instant it? acrobats. No, I think he's talking about the imitation of Harry Lauder uh, in Random Harvest. I hope. Was that No, it? no, no. Oh. No. Not what a picture. What are you, what are you talking that about, that Fred? I, I forget uh, the title. It was a music. Was, was it a musical? Yeah. I, I only bring right. this up because we're talking about everybody uh, remembers the two of you, you know, as Mr. and Mrs. Miniver or something, and, and uh, were, were great smashes at that time. Thank you, But thank you. Uh, you, you both sang and, and performed, and uh, people forget that, and they, they shouldn't forget it. And I don't want them to forget it, so there. I do. That's wonderful. <laughs> did, did both of you come to motion pictures from the stage? Yeah. I did. I don't know about this character. Yeah, I did. You, you he must have he came from the Bond on. business. He's just been telling you that. He came from the world of high no, finance. No, Fred put me on the stage. And he got on the stage first, oh yes, and then yeah. he came out here. Yeah. Yeah. And now, I was told, I read where you were in a movie and you had to dance in the movie oh. and you were not able to. That was with Mervyn Leroy. No, it was with me. Mervyn was directing. Well, well, that's what I mean. Well, what did they... Dancing with me. How did they get him to dance if he couldn't? Listen, you know what they did? They turned me loose with a, an instructor on stage 15. It's a four blocks long. And I had to do a waltz. And uh, I could reverse. I got the whole dog on stage to do it. Now I get in with Mervyn on the picture, and it's in Greer's drawing room. And... Uh, I had 15 feet to turn around in. I couldn't do it. <laughs> we did about eight or ten takes, and Mervyn said, 
Oh, let it go. It's so lousy we may get a laugh. <laughs> I think we did something else. And if you can catch Mervyn Leroy at the party, I think he will tell you the dark, dark secret of the technical device that enabled Mervyn. There he is. Come on in, Mervyn. Hi, Mervyn. Mervyn Leroy. Come on in. Hi. Let us see. Let us see. What Mervyn. a coincidence. <laughs> How are you, Marvin? What a coincidence. What's it be what a coincidence. Here. You yeah. mentioned your name. Yeah. And there you are. How did you do that with that dance scene that we spoke of where he had such trouble? Well, Walter had read the script for about two months and knew he had to dance. He walked on the set one morning. He said, I can't dance. I said, you can't dance. What's the matter with you? He said, I never dance. So I built the first, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you moving you platform? sent me out with an instructress first. Moving platform. You couldn't listen to an instructor. <laughs> <laughs> moving I love platform. the atmosphere of this party. So friendly, so friendly. And we put him on the platform and he was moving around like this and he was really pretty bad. So oh. I said, well, let's forget it. Don't we'll tell the world. They thought he was very good. No, I said, it look at Greer anyhow. Was it the revolving stage, or were they just moving? Just moving. And other people dancing, like skates dancing under it. around them? Like, were there... We were the first yes. duet on a skateboard, on a single skateboard. That's right. I learned. No, I think I ran around the circumference, and he stayed on the skateboard. Was that no, it? you were holding on to him so he so didn't fall down. I remember <laughs> that very well. Was it your idea to team Miss Garson and Mr. Pritchett? I think so. And Mr. Mayers. I'd seen him. He lived near me when I first came out and rented a little house with my mother in Beverly Hills. And I used to see this handsome gentleman two doors away weeding his lawn. You're talking about Walter? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've seen you, but never weeding the lawn. <laughs> handsome you are, but you're not a gardener. Anyhow, Walter loves his garden and green things. And I... Somebody's in front of the camera there. Something very strange has happened. Is that all right? I suppose oh, it is. Yes, yes. Oh, we're just talking for our own fun now. No, no, oh, that's no, what they no. call a creepy peepee, that camera. Oh, what? That's the... They call that, they nickname that camera a creepy peepee because it creeps and it peeps at you. Ah. What a ah. nasty animal. <laughs> what a nice young man with it, but the animal itself is very unpleasantly named. Oh, anyhow, I'd seen Walter and he was so nice. When I was first brought over, Mr. Mayor said to him, he was coast, you know, he was coast along in high gear at that time, and they said, would you be kind enough to make a test with a young lady we brought over? She has been very successful on the London stage, but we don't know what she'll be like in front of the camera. Would you make a, a kind of a routine test? He said, be delighted. He was such an angel and so sweet in the test. I was very understandably nervous that when I finally, about three pictures, he would always say they gave me nothing to do for a year, but I was always meeting him on the set, on the uh, shot, and he would say, hello, Greer. When are you going to start? When are they going to give you a big starring vehicle? When am I going to be your leading man? And this would pep me up for another two months or so. And the months dragged by, and finally, there was a script sent to me that I thought Walter was wonderful for, and nobody else should play it. And it was a picture in color, and you directed it. It was all about orphans and Texans and things. Blossoms in the Dust. Blossoms in the Dust. Okay, yeah. the title, Blossoms in the Dust. Was that the one that, that did it for you? That was the one that did it, yes. No, I had, no, done, no, uh, I had no. done Goodbye, Mr. Chips, Chips. before that. Oh. But uh, this was the first color picture, and I asked for Walter, and he's liked the part and you liked him and that was the start there we were there we were off here to we a nice start and here well, we are well, well, these fellas well, 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 why don't we bring them into this yeah, thing here i'm i'm, I'm overawed yeah. oh. <laughs> did you four ever work together oh, no, no, no 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 but you I, saw uh, each other I constantly. I danced too well, and uh, uh, <laughs> Kelly was a little bit uneasy about they, it. They were the A group. <laughs> they, <yes. laughs> but, you know, we were rather compartmentalized at Metro. We didn't get it. We worked rather hard, and we really didn't get much chance to sneak over and watch the musical rehearsals. Though if there was a big number, we were invited. But that time, they were all so perfected, you know, that we were very overawed. But they were beautiful people and what beautiful times. They still are beautiful people. Oh. Wizard of Oz, did yeah. you have any idea that thing was going to be su as successful as it has been? Well, I always wanted to do it since I was a little boy and I knew it, it, it would come through and it came through and it was beautifully directed by Victor Fleming. And I only produced The Wizard of Oz, but Victor Fleming did such a marvelous job, I can't leave him out of anything. This, this thing actually looks like us. This is the largest building, I think. I had no idea sound stages were this large. It's like sure. a hockey arena, this doesn't it? a small one, too. And this, I'm this told, as, as Jean mentioned earlier, somebody mentioned that they, they can lift that and, and go into another sound yeah. stage. And they make can open that door, yes. Yeah. And you can peel back there, the floor. Uh, isn't it? Am I right over to you? There's going to be an awful no, I say, I said, a word. What's the matter? <laughs> Gene, is it true that you can... I have to borrow our host's microphone. Uh, is it true you can peel back the floor and Esther Williams' swimming pool is underneath us? Not, no, not on this oh. stage. That's down on stage 30. Oh, 
I thought we could have a rather original party. Yes, yes, we could, sure. yes. It just occurred to me with this energy shortage that we've got enough energy going here uh, with the electricity and all the energy from all these vibrant people to uh, keep a city going well, let's for about it. 24 hours. Why don't we end it and have a drink? Let's do. Let's have a drink. That's a great idea. There's a fountain right there. All right. All right. I'll, I'll be right over.